welcome dear viewers and professionals the topic for the present video is odt tablets and as we know these are called as orally disintegrating tablets as the name indicates these are the tablet formulations or these are the tablet doses form which are required to be disintegrated in the mouth cavity when these are placed onto the tongue the orally disintegrating tablets are available in the market as o otc type of formulations and also they are the prescription medicines let's start with the video to understand more about the odts odt is considered as a new type of formulation it is a new type of tablet doses form and us fda and european pharmacopeia has have given the definitions so as per us fda the odt tablet can be defined as a solid doses form containing medicinal substances which disintegrates rapidly and usually within a matter of seconds when it is placed onto the tongue so here as per the us fda the disintegration is rapid and it is included in the definition also the placement of the formulation is when placed onto the tongue so this terminology is described now as per the european pharmacopeia the odt is uncoated tablet which are placed in the mouth cavity and quickly disintegrate before swallowing so these odts are the formulation that is tablet formulation which disintegrate in the mouth cavity before swallowing so the odt are not required to be swallowed these are required to be placed onto the tongue and these are allowed to get disintegrated there these are different than the normal tablets which are swallowed and the tablets which are chewed before swallowing means the chewable tablets so odt are not the chewable tablet and also odt are not the normal tablets which are required to be swallowed with water so for odt water is not required the examples of odt formulations are many some of the formulations i have enlisted here the odt formulation contain loratadine or clonazepam then rizatriptan escitalopram citalopram asenapin these apis belong to different categories some are antipsychotic some are antihistaminic or anti allergic some are antidepressant so many type of the disease conditions can be treated with the odt type of formulation then coming to the odt composition so mainly mannitol is used as a diluent along with mannitol some coprocess excipients can also be utilized lactose can be taken as a diluent then mcc that is known as microcrystalline cellulose can be used as a diluent it is also used as a disintegrant then crosspoidone as super, super disintegrant other disintegrant can also be used then small size pellets can be formulated in the odt type of formulation and those are the mox type of formulation that is the pellets are compressed into tablet the main example of this type of is type of mox tablet is this lansoprazole or lansoprazole type of formulation then in the odt composition sweeteners and flavors are also used and generally the use of binders are avoided because if you use binders then dt time may get hampered then the manufacturing procedure generally dc process is used for odt type of formulations direct compression roller compaction can also can also be employed granulation process is like granulation which is dry granulation or wet granulation can be used and that is based on to the type of api and the formulation characteristics 
Liabilization processes are also used. ODT formulations are compressed at the lower compression force and thus the hardness range is very narrow or it is on the lower side compared to the general type of tablets. The tablets are compressed at low compression force or at low hardness range because for ODT the disintegration should be faster. The ODT formulations are generally uncoated type of formulations. Because uh, if these formulations are film coated, then that film coating may add some disintegration time. So these are generally the uncoated tablets. Then coming to the regulatory requirements. So considering the USFDA rec recommendations, generally the tablet weight of 500 mg is recommended. Also the disintegration time should be 30 minutes, 30 seconds. Sorry, it is 30 seconds or below than the 30 seconds and the tablet weight is 500 mg or lower than the 500 mg. The weight above 500 mg and the DT above 30 seconds becomes more challenging for the ODT type of formulations during R&D, during their bio studies and also during the commercial manufacturing. So generally the higher weights and higher DT time are avoided. As per the European Pharmacopoeia, the disintegration time for ODT tablets is 3 minutes. So 3 minutes is given as the maximum disintegration time. Coming to the quality control of ODT tablets. So as per the general tablets, description, average weight, hardness, disintegration time, priority are very important. Out of these, Disintegration time is very critical for ODT formulations. Assay dissolution impurities and other characteristics are very important for ODT formulations. Then coming to the challenges for ODT type of formulation. Mainly the taste and mouthfeel is the challenge because these tablets are required to be disintegrated when placed on the tongue within some seconds. Then is the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel should be good so that it will improve the patient compliance. Then dose of the API, solubility of the API, compressibility of the API, stability of the API and the compatibility of the API or drug substance with the excipient is very critical. If dose is higher, then it will lead to higher weight of the ODT tablet. If solubility is the challenge, that time the API, if it is getting solubilized in the saliva, it may give to some bitter taste or if it is insoluble, then its particles will feel gritty in the mouth. So there is a uh, very challenging type of task whenever you are going for the ODT type of formulation. Then if the API required to be formulated into some modified type of formulation, that time ODT is not the formulation of choice. Coming to the advantages, the advantages are many for the ODT and also the advantages you can consider, as, consider it as requirements. So when there is no need of water to be taken for the administration that time you can go for ODT type of formulation. So advantage is no need of water for administration as the tablet disintegrate as it comes in the contact with saliva after placing on the tongue. Useful for the geriatric or old age patients and psychiatric patients. So to improve their compliance and to improve the therapeutic outcome of the treatment, the ODT can be a advantageous formulation. For the patients who have difficulty in swallowing, for those ODT will give you higher patient compliance. ODTs are available as OTC as well as prescription product. So over the counter type of formulations are also there. You can go at the 
medical shop and you can directly purchase those type of formulation without any prescription. ODD have small tablet size and weight and faster disintegration time. Generally, the disintegration time of ODT is 30 seconds. ODT have fast action and rapid absorption. Sometimes the ODT formulation can give you the better bioavailability. Formulations with good mouthfeel and the taste can be made. Safe as there is no chance of choking by the oral administration. Because the tablets doesn't remain impact, intact and it gets disintegrated within the seconds. Then coming to the disadvantages. So main disadvantages is cost of manufacturing and the packaging. Then hardness is the another challenge. Less hardness and physical strength thus challenge in the manufacturing, handling and packaging. Sometimes whenever you take out the ODT tablet from the package, there are chances of breaking of that tablet and that is attributed to less hardness. Limitation of weight so that the high dose APIs cannot be formulated in ODTs. If the dose is above 500 mg or 600 mg, that time it will become very very difficult to formulate those APIs into ODT type of formulation. Immediate release is the key design for ODT, but some delayed release type of formulations can be made and fabricated or designed into ODT type of tablets. API dose, solubility and tablet weight are the constraints. If solubility is not there and if you want to improve the solubility, that time whatever the technology is used, that technology will lead to increase in the tablet weight which will be a major disadvantage. So this is regarding the ODT tablets. Sometimes the interviewers ask about the ODT tablets. Also interviewers ask about the bio studies for ODT type of formulations. And mainly the question is asked like whether the ODT can be taken with water or without water. So you search the answer for these questions. And generally, the ODT are as administered without water. During the bio studies or bioequivalent studies, the ODTs can be administered with and without water also. So that is based on the reference formulation design, reference formulation recommendation to the patients, and also depending on the specific formulation. Also, it depends on specific indication for that formulation. So this is regarding the generalized information for orally disintegrating tablets. I hope I have covered um, the general information and I am sure that the viewers will get benefited out of this video. I request you to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Press the bell icon so that whenever I am posting the new videos, you will get notified. Thank you for watching the video.